demo shows how we can use a new tool, Console k Dev, to create a Kubernetes cluster running in Docker with also um, console installed. So I've got my terminal open. If I run Docker PS, there's just one container running there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to install the console Kate's dev tool. And I can do that just by using this curl command. So I install it. It takes a couple of seconds. And now what I can do is I can create a Kubernetes cluster and install console just by using this simple command. So I do console k dev up, and this takes about two minutes to create the, the Kubernetes cluster in Docker and install console using the latest Helm chart. Okay, so that's completed. Console is now running and Kubernetes has been installed. So I can just grab my Kubernetes uh, YAML file and set that to my uh, kubeconfig, like so. Then I can use kubectl to get the pods. And we can see that we've got three pods running. All of this is running in Docker. So I've got the two nodes there running in my Docker container. Console is already installed. So if I go over here and go to localhost 8500, we can see that I've got my console server and all of that's running locally. So in addition to this, um, just in case you don't have any tools installed, you can also use the, um, the, the command tools, which is going to allow you to um, run a, a simple sort of tool container with kubectl and helm and all of those console CLI and everything in it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to map that to my um, traffic splitting folder. So then inside of here, I can access all of my files. I can run console members. Whoops, console members. I can apply all my kube configuration. So I can do kubectl dash f. kubectl apply to create my application. And all of that is, is running, running locally. So now that my application's up and running, we can see that that's getting populated inside of console because everything's running there. What I can also do is port forward. So if I do kubectl get services, we can see that we've exposed a web service here to our application. So again, I can do kubectl port forward um, svvc web service. And I'm just going to map 1990 to 1990. I can now access the, the application running in my kube cluster in the UI in my browser, we can see it's running there. And um, some of the, the additional things that I can do, well, I can apply some, some traffic splitting and stuff like that to there. So in here, I have um, a traffic splitting config. So I'm going to apply this and add this to console. So I'm going to do console config write. Um, that's getting written to my, my console cluster because I'm exposing the console port locally. Now that's all, all applied. Um, we can um, refresh our browser and we can see there now we're traffic splitting between API version one and API version two. So just a super simple tool, console k dev, which allows you to play around with console on Kubernetes. Of course, if I want to, to get rid of any of this, I can just do console k dev down. 
and it's going to clean everything up, delete console, delete all of my Kubernetes instances, and set me back to my original state. 